Welcome to my workshop. Today we are gonna be making crow feathers from craft foam. So to start out, I have some craft foam that is just black, and I'm going to be cutting out the shapes of the feathers. I'm not using any pencils or anything because I just feel like I do better without that. So, and I'm just gonna start off by cutting some square like things and rounding them off, I guess. Cause I guess I'm good at that. Now that I've gotten that piece cut out, I'm taking it and folding it in half and making sure that I get it impressed, like that it, there's a groove right here. So there's a crease. So I'm taking the end of a paintbrush and I am impressing it, making it so that it's got a divot in it. And I'm gonna do it on the other side too. I don't have to do it as hard, it just leaves the impression. Now I'm gonna do a little one, but I'm gonna leave a little space in between. So I'm gonna make it so it pops out. Now that it's all groovy, <laughs> I am going to shape it and cut out little pieces like a feather so that it looks pretty awesome. So if this, if this is the bottom, I'm gonna make these going like this. Now the other side. Now I'm gonna do some little stripey thingies down here, just cuts. You could do V cuts to So there's that. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna fold it a little bit so it just looks a little nicer. Anyway, so I have this thing. I think it's called an owl. Owl? I don't know what this thing is called, but I'm gonna use this to give it a little texture to the feather. It's gonna look awesome. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna work my way out. And what I'm doing is I'm just angling up and giving it this little texture on the top part. And then I'm gonna mirror it over here. And when I get to this point right here and I've done both of those sides, I'm gonna do it, but I'm not gonna go all the way out. I'm just gonna go a little bit in the center. And then work my whole way down. Now I'm doing the same thing, but at the tips. Once I got those little designs on, this is what it looks like, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now that it's gotten done on both sides, I'm actually taking it and putting it over to the edge and crinkling it and rounding it so that it gives that effect of a feather being like actually having texture, moving with it, has a flow. Once I'm done with one side, I'm just flipping it and doing this side too. You can fold it in half to make it so it gives it that more lift to it. Now that we've gotten to this awesome point with our feather, I'm gonna take some blue, blue sapphire metallic paint, and I am going to just paint it lightly and make it so it looks like it's got some shine in the feather. If you notice, I'm trying really hard not to paint the inside part, just so that it gives it more believable, and you believability of the craft foam being a feather. 
and it's just making it so you can see the shine detail in what looks like the the layers of the feather. After you are done painting it on that one side, do the other side identical to it and let it dry. Check it out. Look at all them feathers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This was awesome. I freaking love this. This is super easy to make. I was able to make about nine of these in a sitting in a movie. And they look so real. Crow feathers. If you guys are wanting more of a shine, I do not suggest putting an iron on it. I tried that and I ruined one of the feathers. It like crinkled up and was all nasty. So don't do that unless you're really experienced with craft foam and you know what you're doing. So, and I'm not so experienced with craft foam, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Crow feathers, they look amazing.